Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about changes in momentum, impact forces and impulse. So hopefully you have already watched my earlier video about momentum because this video is about the change in momentum and in order for an object's momentum to change a force needs to be exerted. So here's two examples. So a car with momentum of 20,000 kilogram meters per second hits a wall and its momentum goes from this to zero. So it ends up as zero when it hits the wall. So this means that there has been a change in momentum and it was caused by the force exerted by the wall on the car. The change in momentum in this case happened very quickly and therefore the car experiences a very large force. Now if on the other hand the car crashed into a big cushion, it would experience the same change in momentum, it would still go from this momentum to zero, but it would happen over a longer period of time because the cushion has a bit more give. So the car will experience a much smaller impact force as a result. And in fact, the longer the impact time, the lower the impact force. And we can express this as an equation. So force equals the change in momentum divided by the time taken. And this is just another version of Newton's second law, F equals ma. Except we use the equation for acceleration and we substitute in for a. So it will end up looking like this. after we've substituted for a. Now it's just a case of multiplying out the brackets. So here we have the change in momentum at the top because remember p equals mv, momentum is mass times velocity. So this here is the change in momentum and it's divided by the time taken and that gives you the force of the impact. So let's rearrange this and then discuss what happened to the car earlier. So if we multiply both sides by T, we get this. So F times T, which is called impulse, is equal to the change in momentum. So delta P for change in momentum. So let's take this and look at the two cars above. I'll write down the equation again. So the impulse is equal to the change in momentum. Now the change in momentum is going to happen one way or another because the car will go from having some momentum to having no momentum. Now we can achieve this change in momentum in two ways. We can either have a large force over a very short time as with the brick wall or we can have a small force over a longer time. And of course it's much better for the driver and the passengers if they experience a smaller impact force. So car safety features such as airbags and crumple zones are all designed to increase the impact time, therefore reducing impact forces. And it's also why cyclists wear helmets and why gymnasts train on mats. Now seat belts are slightly different. They're they're slightly elastic so they do have a bit of give but they're mainly there to connect you to the car so that you decelerate at the same rate as the car instead of flying through the windscreen. Okay so that was just a short video on impact forces and on changes in momentum and impulse. Thank you for watching and as always make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. See you next time.